Following a route used since prehistoric times by travellers, herdsmen and soldiers, the Ridgeway National Trail traverses the chalk hills of the Chilterns and the North Wessex Downs between Ivinghoe Beacon in Buckinghamshire and Avebury in Wiltshire. There are stunning viewpoints, nature reserves, historic monuments and more to discover along this 87 mile signposted trail. Whiteleaf Hill is well known for the 100 metre high chalk hill figure, the Whiteleaf Cross, on its northern slope, but it is also home to other interesting archaeological features, including a Neolithic barrow and World War I practice trenches. Whiteleaf Cross has stood above Prince's Risborough for several centuries dominating the local landscape. The first written record of its presence dates from 1742 and although the reason for its creation is unknown and subject to speculation and folklore, this emblematic hill figure remains very important to local people. The cross is best viewed from a distance where its sheer scale can be fully appreciated. Good evening again everyone. This is a very impromptu wild camp tonight. I'm in Buckinghamshire in the North Chiltern Hills. This is kind of the the closest sort of bit of like high ground for me really, living in flat old Essex. And literally planned this this wild camp and meeting literally this morning. <laughs> so it's about half seven now. I'm joined by my mate Mark and Richard, uh, both subscribers, done camps with them before. I'll, uh, I'll introduce them to you again later when we're set up. So we parked up at the car park at Whiteleaf Cross. So it's a 80 foot uh, chalk uh, cross carved into the hillside here. And I've looked in the, uh, the book, The Wild Guide, and it recommended it as a possible spot for like getting away with a bit of wild camping. I thought, why not? So yeah, we're heading heading up the footpath now, which is actually part of the Ridgeway long distance route. And I think we're at the viewpoint now. Whiteleaf Hill and Brush Hill Nature Reserves are situated within the Chilterns area of outstanding natural beauty. These sites are located above the historic market town of Prince's Risborough and provide fantastic panoramic views of the Chilterns escarpment across the Vale of Aylesbury and onto the Wessex Downs in the distance. OK, well we've arrived at the viewpoint here at Whiteleaf Cross. I believe the, the chalk carving is, is sort of down there on the, you know, the face of the hill. And there's, there's a few people here already, people having fish and chips, we noticed. Um, there's a guy that's been filming and stuff. Uh, so we're going to of course wait for them to clear off but there is loads of good potential places to uh, to camp up here and we've got this incredible view behind me decent apologies if it's a bit windy um, as we are quite high up of course here is here is mark and here's richard hello good company tonight should be a good one and we've, we've all agreed we're going to try and go with tarp and bivy setups tonight. Fingers crossed that works, we'll see. This is where you wish you had a drone. The cross, the white leaf cross is right there, okay? But you, you can't see it because I haven't got a drone. Mark, Mark's just going to run over to the centre of the cross to point out the cross for us. Mark, if you just want to, as you said, make your way across. Yeah. Oh, no thank you. <laughs> I don't want to. Do you know, he's, he's set you up there. You could say you've been double crossed. <laughs> you were not that quick, I told him. <laughs> We've just got all of our tarps set up and just in time to catch a beautiful sunset. Look at that. Wish you were here. So in front of us here is Mark's, I think it's a 3x3 metre tarp, 
and then we've got Richard's DD super light tarp over there and then I've got my Lomo 3x3 meter tarp so it's all all tarps tonight sort of tarp tents tarps and bivvies it's gonna be pretty good look at that though it's gonna be a good night set up and we're about to crack our first cider open of the night so this is a new one on the channel this is Adnams from Southwold it's a, a wild wave English cider 5% I've had this in a pub uh, on the River Deben I remember but I found that they do cans so we're gonna definitely have a go with this a splash in the face with a wild wave of flavours, refreshing, surprising and delicious. Serve at North Sea temperatures. <laughs> so let's give it a go. I'm getting into these uh, 330 mil cans. I think bottles are a thing of the past for me now. They're just easier to carry and whatnot. Oh, lovely. Cheers everyone. Pops up. Oh, oh, that's very nice. Oh, so it's a a plain cider. I would uh, me another sip. Eight point two five out of ten. Cheers. Okay, next cider of the night is this Rosie's Pig flat tyre sparkling cloudy cider with rhubarb by Westerns. Had this one before, it's a, a lovely little cider. It's four percent. Let's crack it open. Ooh. That could well be the best one of the night. I'd give that a nine out of ten all day long. Brilliant little cider that is. Cheers. So we're on our final cider of the night. You've seen this one before. It's a Hawks Dead and Buried Mixed Berry Cider. Clean and crisp. It's only a four percent. Nearly finished it now. Tasty little cider this one. There you go, you can pause and read that if you want. Um, I'd say it's not as good as the other two I've had, such as the, being the high calibre of the ciders tonight, so I'd probably give this one a 7.75 out of 10. But the artwork though is pretty cool, more than makes up for it. The wind's picked up a little bit now. There's all the lights on down below. We've been chatting away, having a laugh. We saw a group of uh, youths come up here earlier on I think they buggered off once they saw me and Mark look alike they thought it was some weird some weird gang <laughs> and uh, we did see a light over in the woods over there come on a few times so 
We think there could be someone wild camping there as well, but we've not heard anything from them yet. And I think it's gone 11 p.m. now, so we'll probably be hitting the sack soon. We might be getting some rain in the early hours, did we say? Maybe, Richard says. Been keeping an eye on the weather, so be interesting to test the tarps out. But I think we should be we should be finding them. But yeah, what of you? Okay, well I'm underneath the Lomo 3 by 3 meter tarp now. That's my cheap Audi lantern up there. So I've set it up kind of like a a tarp tent, so to speak. I've got me uh bivy down here. It's the uh grab. Uh, survival zone bivy, really lightweight little bivy. Last time I used that was in France. I'll show you the setup in the morning when we've got a bit more light. And the wind's just picked up a little bit now. It's coming up to midnight. I think we're all in our shelters. Night all! Night! See you in the morning everyone. Morning everyone. So I thought I would show you the setup that I used last night very quickly. I think it's about half six now and we're all starting to pack up. So of course, get that out of the way first, I bought the OEX chair with me because it was literally a 10 minute walk. The tarp is the Lomo 3x3 meter tarp. A uh, little bit heavier than the DD Superlight. Um, it's pretty cheap, I think it was about 40 quid from what I can remember, probably an eBay job again. A little decathlon silver coated kneeling pad, or sit mat. And then inside, so bivy set up inside, this was the Rab Survival Zone bivy. It's a very small, thin bivy, packs down incredibly small, very lightweight. It's got kind of a sort of a funny inside coat into it. It's very warm though. Then, uh, Tyvek ground sheet underneath that, a decathlon silver foam pad, the OEX Traverse inflatable sleeping mat. This I think is an X-ped X -ped, uh, pillow. I also add a Thermarest stuff sack pillow which keeps all like sort of spare clothes in. The sleeping bag I used was my old old down sleeping bag. It is a Cumulus Ultralight 200. So I think it's like a two season bag but I suppose you can bump it up a season with extra clothes. My uh 3FUL big rucksack that's in the that trash trash bag whatever you want to call it <coughs> then I've got a cooking setup over here bought a little table again OEX like I say we didn't have to walk far so we could bring the luxuries got the Trangia alcohol stove with a little Esbit triangle and it, it seems to fit perfectly and yes, my favourite form of uh, stove at the moment is an alcohol stove. And then this morning, to do breakfast, I used the little mini Esbit titanium triangle thingy stove that folds up and some Esbit tablets. Uh, two litres of water, well actually 
2.6 three siders tucking into some uh, army ration pack fruitful muesli at the moment and an army tea had a cereal bar some chocolate digestive biscuits yeah the uh, head torch I used last night was this uh, really cheap and simple Audi light actually just takes three three uh, AAA batteries just got three settings on it it's actually pretty good so I think it cost me a tenner if that uh, had a little OEX uh, mosquito head net on just to keep the bugs out because it's an open face bivy of course and yeah that was the setup to cheap <coughs> to a uh, cheap decathlon walking poles to set the tarp up with and some pegs and loads of paracord yeah loads of room in here could sit up I've been cooking in here out of the wind that's all of our rubbish it's been good oh so we're going to enjoy the view one last time and then start packing up okay Richard is going to show us his setup morning so my old DD 3x3, three three, not quite 3x3, three 3x2.9 three, three I think it is, DD Sib Light tarp with a grabber space blanket on the bottom OEX sleep pad, jungle sleeping bag and a cheap gallop bivy bag on top nice. Was I cold? Yeah, it was a bit chilly, that's why I kept my jacket on But it's a one season bag was it? But yeah, it's a really ultra light um, sleeping bag so supplementing it with a bit of clothing which I'd have anyway it well, works hopefully you've got clothing <laughs> spare clothing I should say yeah it works uh, Osprey Escape is 25 litre rucksack yeah very nice little uh, ultralight yeah. kit there yeah all good excellent Charles okay and this is Mark's setup do you want to Morning. tell us what you've got yeah. Morning. So I think we've got a 3 by 3 tarp. <laughs> we don't know what tarp it is, but it's silver on the inside, isn't it? Yeah. It's and it's really warm. Very warm, yeah. It's lovely. Oh, we've got me. What I always use is me OEX <coughs> Bush Pro. Bush Pro Bivy bag. Me two season OEX sleeping bag. What sleeping bag's that? Is that the Evolution? Is that the Roam? I don't know actually. Oh, I don't know. Can't remember. Anyway, yeah. it's really warm. Good. Um, and then I've got the OEX Traverse. Yep, and I've got the OEX. Oh, we got a, another. Oh, two inflatables. Yeah. Two inflatable, Mark. Yep. Good night out, that is. <sighs> and a three quarter. Is that the Prowl or something it's called? I yeah. Think, I think so, I don't know. Um, and it's nice and comfortable. That's brilliant. Fun fact quickly is um, all three of us have got the OEX Traverse with us tonight. Or today, this morning should this I morning. say. Yeah, we've all used that. How weird's that? Um, what is that? Is that an Everlast pad you've got underneath you as well? Oh yeah, that right. one. Brilliant. So you can use absolutely anything. Yeah. Camping. Anything at all. Work. That's. And then another ground sheet. Yep. Just keep everything of the damp off and. And then it. wash your rucksack over the back because we said we'd highlight well, this. The uh, rucksack is a 65 litre Pro Action. Yeah. Argos. Yeah. 30 pounds. Bargain. Absolute bargain. It's strength as well. Brilliant. There we go. Oh, Excellent. Well done for putting that in. That's all right. And how did you sleep? Really well. Uh, it surprised me actually. I'm sleeping more comfortable and more relaxed 
and it's warmer in the bivy bag I've found. Definitely a smaller smaller area to insulate in it, so yeah, you're getting more used to tarp, so definitely. Brilliant. Cheers. They've just found a horse whip. Oh, 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 naughty boy. Oh, you've been a bad boy. Leave no trace. Oh. Well, as you can see, we've packed up and we've walked back to the car park here at White Leaf Cross. And back at the cars, that is the end of this video. It was an impromptu little camp and sometimes they are the best ones. And I think that's true. We've had such a laugh together. A few giggles have been had. It's been yeah. great. <laughs> Quite a few, yeah. I want to say a big thank you to Richard. You're welcome, loved it. Big thank you to Mark. I've thoroughly enjoyed myself. It's been brilliant. Cheers for watching everyone. Take care of yourselves. Look after each other. Stay safe. See you again soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.